All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, earlier on, we came here to somewhere in Abuja where we saw Usman, a uh, security guy, building his own house. Just a small house so that he could uh, look after all this uh, large side of land. You can show them, you know, this uh, beside the lake in Abuja. And uh, he was walking here and we came with him and then saw him. And he's, he's in charge of this whole place. and. Uh, he was building a house and he promised that uh, the house would be done by this evening. We couldn't believe it, but here is uh, this man's uh, new house. He just finished building it. It's just a place to stay uh, when he's looking after this place. No electricity, nothing. This is how he gets fire. You know, uh, this, is, this is electrical supply. To, and this is how he keeps himself warm. Usman, you work very hard today, right? And you have a new house now, yes, you know, and uh, we're just telling a story of how hardworking you are. So, you know, say one time Buhari said, Nigerian youths are very lazy. Yes, you are not a lazy person. Yes, uh, so, and uh, this is how, what do you do with the fire? Is this just to keep you warm? Yes, burn and to burn the grass to make sure that your environment is safe. Yes. Yeah, this is just uh, Usman uh, style of uh, keeping warm and also to keep himself safe. So we promise we'll come and check your house out, you know. Can we just check inside? See, see, uh, this is, this is the foundation. Uh, and, uh, the place is not yet dry, so we can't enter. But this is pretty, pretty much Usman's house, right? And this is your room. What about, how do you keep your mosquitoes? Yeah, I will buy the mosquito nets. You buy mosquito nets, right? So uh, you don't have a mattress yet. Yeah, so um, we, we're trying to support him to get a mattress. Uh, this is not where you should be staying. This is completely not a good place to stay. This is not safe, but you don't have any alternative. You can't afford to stay in Abuja. Yes. You can't afford to stay there. Yes, Wouldn't you like to stay there and come to I work every month? Like <laughs> so, but we know we, we're giving you some support uh, to have a bed uh, and if there's anything i give you my phone number if there's anything else you think we can help with so we just wanted to showcase you as someone who is working and but who is getting late to such that you have to live in this condition because you are not lazy but you have senators in nigeria who are collecting big big money they live there they live in the hotels you know all of us are guilty of it you know we live in big life and we forget about the poor people and how much they're working to serve the country. So I hope uh, you'll be a good friend of ours and uh, we can continue to talk if there's any little thing you need that we can help with. I don't have a lot of money because I'm not stealing public money. But I, I really admire your hard work and what you've done today. It's not only that you finished this, but that you are your own architect. Eh? You are the bricklayer, you are the painter, yeah, the he found the wood, right? And uh, you made a house, and you built a house. So if you are minister of housing, you probably do better than Fashola, okay. <laughs> because you built a house. You built a house within. And I imagine that Sola has a, uh, a broad goal for building a lot of houses for poor people. They can easily design a house and build it, and you can build millions and millions of houses. Yeah. With your kind of mindset, you could have built like millions of low-income houses for a lot of Nigerians. So, would, what would you want to do after here? What, what, would, what is it that you wanted to do before coming here? What would you have loved to do? Yes, yes, I want to work for I do gardener before. You do gardener, yes. but now you are your security. Yes. So what about school? Did you go to school? I have SSC. You have SSC. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to go back to like university or something? I like, but I don't have opportunity. You don't have the opportunity. Yes. Because there are people watching you who might be willing to help you uh, yeah. uh, to go back to school. Uh, to would you like to, to go back to school? Because yes. your English is uh, pretty good, you know. That is not to say that English is the greatest language in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Was your area in Adama affected by Boko Haram? It's affected. Which area is that? Oh, you come from movie side? Yes. So Boko Haram is also yes. killing no, people. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Did you go home for New Year? No, I didn't. No. Okay. So, guys, if there's one of you watching whom I want to help him to go back to college or to get a better life than this, uh, 
uh, Usman will be happy to do so. You know, I came back to see you just so that I can say hello and also uh, make sure that, you know, we keep uh, in touch with you. Huh? Thank you so much for... We would have loved to stay inside, but you know, it's not dry yet. No, 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 it's, it's not dry yet. I don't want you to have to do it all over no, again. You don't, you don't dry. You don't dry yeah, small. Okay. Wow. Let's see here. This one's house. This one's house. No ceiling. Just, just like a bedroom. The toilet, uh, nothing, you know. It's just, this is Nigeria, man. This is, this is Nigeria that uh, our leaders created, you know. Wow. Another level of uh, homelessness. And well, this guy is creative, man. It's creative. And um, what is the problem with it? It's showing your finger. Why? Mm -hmm. right. Cool. Is it good? Yeah. All right. yeah. How many people are watching? Four, four seven. Wow. Uh, four, seven, that's good. We still have uh, a show tonight with uh, the VP and the smart judge who's a Delta State Senatorial District, I mean, Senatorial. Delta North Senatorial uh, candidates. Uh, it's, uh, that's, this, we're in Abuja and uh, I don't even know how to tell you where we are. It's uh, somewhere in Abuja, close to Lake Jabi. And this is Usman's area, uh, and we're using Usman's story to tell a story of hard work in the midst of uh, leaders. Uh, like we said, if anyone is out there who would like to support Usman, we will gladly put you in touch with Usman directly. Uh, we don't want to raise money for him that will come to us. We can put you in touch with him to support him if you want. And we hope that Usman also will support our our movement to make Nigeria a better place. Yeah? Someone is asking, where is this place? This place is, yeah, what's this place called? It's water, it's park, water park. Water park, Jabi. Yes. So this is place is going to become a water park yes. in the future. Yes. So they are building it. Yes. Jabi in Abuja. In Jabi in Abuja. Yes. So across from here is uh, Jabi Lake. Uh, there's uh, a, a, a what's it called? Water park. Okay, so this place is water park in Jabi. And you are the security in charge. Yeah. So, a lot of people are going to, are watching you. So you are going to hear from people. Uh, check your check. Just make sure you call me if you have any questions for me. And if I hear if I have any questions for you, I have your number, okay. and I'll call you. Huh? Nice to meet you. Thank you. What's that? What's this digger for? This is digger. This is part of your tool. What do you do with this? Okay. Okay, this is what you use in digging your furniture and the shovel. Yes. But what about the security? What do you use for securing yourself? Oh. You just walk around. <laughs> it's your cell phone. All right. Thank you so much, eh? Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's nice okay. to meet you. And uh, I hope the place will not be demolished. <laughs> oh, they said they hope. No, if they, they, no, don't worry. If, if they demolish this place, maybe we shouldn't have said the address of the place. But they'll find out regardless. We'll come and check on you tomorrow. If they try to do anything, let us know immediately. Okay, sir. Uh, if they demolish it, then we have to find him a house in Abuja to, to rent. And, and I hope we, I hope people will even do that regardless. Anyways, it doesn't cost much for him to get a decent place to stay. He can still keep his job here, and I think he can still uh, he can go to school. This should not. This guy is young. How old are you? This one. How, how old are you? I'm 22 years. 22 years old. You know. These are the people that, you know, Atiku is supposed to be helping. Atiku should give you scholarship to go to his school. But, you know, they won't do that. They're just doing politics and playing politics with everybody. So we just